Hello, we're here today at the Premises Recording Studio in Hackney, the home of the now famous Hackney Rabbit. In early October, graffiti artist Roa created the 12 foot masterpiece. Unfortunately, a few days after the rabbit was presented to the public, the Hackney Council issued a warning that if the rabbit wasn't removed within 14 days, a council contractor would come and paint over the rabbit and charge the Premises Recording Studio with the fees. Just a few weeks ago, the Hackney Rabbit was saved thanks to members of the recording studio and their clients signing an online petition. The petition managed to reach over 3,000 signatures, meaning the Hackney Rabbit will be here to stay. Okay. Obviously, it's Julia. It is, yes, yes well, Julia. Hi nice there. Um, so, yeah, first question was Did you meet the artist at all while he was doing the piece? I didn't know. Um, it's on a wall on the, outs the other side of our property, and we didn't see it taking place, no, oh, but we okay. just turned up for work one day and it was, it was there. It was beautiful, so it was a real great addition. Definitely. Um, how do you think it would benefit the area? Well, Hackney Road is not the most beautiful of roads. There's quite a lot of derelict buildings, it's a lot of traffic, and to see, you can really see the rabbit, it's quite prominent as you're coming down, or there's a lot of buses that come by. So it's a really beautiful thing, it's really gentle, it's really nice, it's obviously, and it's really sort of like a, an image of wildlife emerging in an urban landscape, and it's beautiful to have. And I think a lot of people really appreciate it. Yeah, and has there, have any of your clients commented at all? A lot, yes, yeah. So um, it's a great feature to the Hackney Road. It's lovely to have on our building. It's beautiful, yes. Yeah, have you had any negative comments? At none all? whatsoever. None no, at all. none. No, I mean it's it's a rabbit, so there has been no complaints about it. It's not offensive in any way, and we we'd understand the fact that people are you know the the council wrote to us to ask us to paint over it if it was in some way offensive or if there were complaints, but it isn't at all. So we we were completely baffled when we got the letter to paint over it. What did the what reasons did the council give you for having They said it was a blight on the local environment when it was graffiti and they make no distinction between tagging graffiti and scrawlings and street art and we say this is this is actually an addition to Hackney's community this sh this shouldn't this is not a blight on the local environment at all so we don't understand their reasoning at all. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, would you encourage other businesses such as recording studios to get in contact with graffiti artists or people that do street art? Do you think it would benefit other areas? Possibly. Well? I mean, I think the thing about Hackney and street art is, is very organic. The street artists see an area of space that's suitable for a work they have in mind and they just go and do it. So sometimes they do have permission from the, build, the um, owners of the building. Sometimes the work just appears there. And it's a very organic process. Um, and I think for you know, that they, they could be commissioned works of art, but the way it works at the moment is it just appears, which I think adds to the mystery of things and okay. is very lovely. Okay, who was responsible for setting up the online petition? That was that was a member of Scritti Politi actually, who um, who, who tw tweeted about it, and I saw the tweet, so I got in contact with him, and he said we should set up an online uh, petition. I asked him to do that. He did that, and then that's rolled and rolled. There's nearly three thousand signatures on that. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's great. When you found out that rabbit had been saved, how did the council tell you that they weren't going to take any photos? We action? got an email from them, and also a couple of days later, a letter in the post, and they just said, obviously they'd seen how much um, public pressure there was on them because uh, we'd said that we refused to paint over it and we would they asked us uh, to apply for planning permission to keep it we said we weren't going to do that because there was a huge uh, flaw with the process and there was no guarantee that even if we did apply for planning permission it would work and then we'd be back to square one so we just said no we're not going to do that they you know, by their policy, they should then have painted over it. But I think they saw that if they did paint over it, it would be there'd be such an outcry and it'd be such an unpopular thing to do. So they've just sent us an email saying, no, it was okay. We could keep the rabbit. Okay, brilliant. I think that's all we okay. need to ask you for today. But thank you very much. That's all right. How long have you been involved with street art and the whole? Um, yeah, um, I'm Cassius Coleman and this is the Nelly Duff Gallery and we're based in East London and Shoreditch and um, we've been involved with a lot of local street art from, uh, yeah, from about the last six years I would say. Um, so that's Ein and Selling Banks' work and um, Pure Evil and The Toaster and yeah. Okay, brilliant. 
did you get sort of have an interest in street art from a young age? Like, what sort of got you interested in it? What, did, what, what appealed to you? Um, yeah, I had a I had a cousin who was a street artist, and um, he really wasn't able to produce his own shows, and um, it was it just came out of wanting to help him and realizing that there was a wider audience for artists who started in the street but made paintings and prints and uh, helped help my cousin to begin with. Okay, that's brilliant. And you mentioned you've worked with all you sell sort of Banksy's work. Um, have you ever personally met any of sort of the other street artists that you Yeah, sort of yeah we have. I yeah. mean um, there's been a great area to have worked and lived in a lot of the artists um, lived in East London around here because at one stage the studios were cheaper they had bigger bigger spaces because it wasn't served so well by public transport and the I don't know the councils were a little bit more lax on buffing their work from the street but they um, it's been less of that with the Olympics coming um, street art hasn't had been able to survive the sort of graffiti removal team but um yeah. interesting what are your views on sort of the whole hackney rabbit story what do you think i think it's fantastic mm. i mean i think that um we love uh, public art and um love the fact that uh you know there's so many big billboards in people's local area and sort of have a real impact on local people why not have local artists having that same large scale walls and something that's individual it's brilliant and it, and it brings people to the area for sure okay that's interesting and there is sort of obviously a big debate on whether it's vandalism or not do you believe like you know with tagging um do you think that obviously people do sometimes see that as street art do you view it as street art or do you think there is sort of a side of vandalism i think i think there is a side of vandalism and i think that even though that we work with street artists there is a um we want to be involved with artists who want to make a con contribution to their local area so however that is i don't i don't sometimes i don't think you can say it like it has to be a picture like this and it can't be a drawing like that i think tagging is a can be a bit lazy that's what i think and, and i don't necessarily think that it's um much of a contribution to the to the community generally so yeah i i, I think what a fantastic canvas to use the street so why don't you use it to you know the best of your ability really definitely okay yeah. i think that's pretty much what we've got unless there's anything else you want to say no so I think that's I think really interesting actually yeah. good good okay brilliant Thank fantastic you very much. thanks guys Thank